Oh, ready folks, what's going on? This is Matt here for Dark One Linux Thinking Gaming, which is the fusion of Linux technology and gaming. This has nothing to do with any of those subjects, so if uh, that is what you're here for, click right off. I'm going to tell you right up front. Uh, I do music reactions occasionally when stuff really I enjoy comes out. So this is a new music video called Barely Breathing by From Ashes to New featuring Chrissy from Against the Current. And this is from their uh, uh, from Ashes to New album called Blackout. I don't believe Chrissy was on that. I believe this is a version specifically for the music video. I could be wrong, but what I do want to say is I've been listening to from Ashes to New since about 2015. I've been listening to new metal, quote unquote, um, since well before that. I've been listening to it uh, easily since. Lincoln Park and hybrid theory and all that stuff that really got me into it. Like a lot of other people, but I went down the rabbit hole of new metal. So I ended up with things like listening to like twisted method with escape from Cape coma. I, I listened to, um, you know, stuck mojo and body count stuck mojo body count. Like I really went down the rabbit hole of like new metal slash rap core and that kind of stuff. So long history with it. But I'm really curious to see what these guys do with this because anytime Danny has done like features and vocals with other bands and Matt and stuff, they always sync it really well. One of my favorites is the their cover of Gravity that they did with Jen Ledger. Um, and they've been on other stuff that feature either they are the head of or like it's their stuff or they are a feature on it and it's always been fantastic so let's see how this turns out now you're leaving i'm the one who's bleeding cut out a piece of me now i'm barely breathing it was all the game to you I'm the one that played the fool I Let you feed me to your demons And nothing that I say or do Will ever be enough for you So fuck my feelings, I don't need them So Matt is going to be rapping here uh, More than likely, it's usually the, the They have a structure, but they change up the structure uh, So I do like kind of the, some people are going to either dislike it or like it, but I kind of like like the slow intro with the piano and kind of the, I don't want to call it poppy, but more like R&B kind of drum hits. That's something I really, I really do, really do appreciate kind of the, the electro uh, electronic soundscape that they have in the back. Uh, it almost reminds me of a kind of a dead by April vibe. Which I, I another band that I tend to really like that doesn't get a lot of a lot of love. So well, lyrically, um, it, it's been you know one of the it's one of those kind of songs that if you've heard it you've heard it. But I do it all depends on how it comes together, and that's really what it matters. So um, I do like Danny's clean singing. It's always always nice to see his actual range. Um, a lot of people don't give him a lot of credit, I think, on his range that he has because he does have a lot of, like, if you listen to something like Armageddon, then you listen to something like this. It, it, it's very dichotomy in the the range. Yeah. You were my hair when you used to get me high, but all you cared about was selling me a lie. You used to lift me up, you always used to pick me up, but now you want to get me up and bury me alive. Now you. So before they get into the chorus, uh, you know, Matt talks about it, heroin, the drug, uh, you know, you're selling me a lie. A lot of heroin dealers, they, they are known to, you know, sell a lie, essentially chase, chase the high because you're selling a lie. Um, uh, and yeah, we've all had that person that kind of picks you up and then you end up feeling like they just kind of drop you. Yeah. And it's funny that people tend to do that a lot of the times. Uh, so yeah, I, I have no problem with the, the the bars that he has, as it were. So let's get into the, the chorus. So 
so it very much has like a, a like a rock vibe. Um, I'm just up until this point, it's got almost a Breaking Benjamin vibe, and that is not a knock. That is very much a compliment. Um, Breaking Benjamin has a, a very unique sound of their own, and I always enjoy seeing bands. I don't want to say these guys are out of their element, but mix and incorporate their own elements of what other bands have done. Like the, the structurally speaking, when it comes to a song coming together. So Danny's part very much reminds me of uh, like something like Ben would do in, in breaking Benjamin, as far as the, the, low, the slower piano intro with like something like uh, diary of Jane or dear agony or any of that kind of stuff. And Mixing it in with what makes from ashes to you uh, from ashes to new unique in their sound and their vocal style. So it, it, it's really cool to see. Um, okay, so let's get into the second part. Not sure how they're going to incorporate Chrissy into this, so we'll find out. So I've only heard a few things from, uh, from the current, but that, that pick up in the bass tempo, the da, 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 da. and it's a little bit louder, a little bit harder. And the, the harmonics and the overlays that they're using in the, in Chrissy's voice, I don't want to say give it a fuller effect, but a you know, like haunting effect. Yeah. Um, it reminds me of, uh, there's a band called trust company that kind of had a, a similar, effect on the on the perform uh on the lead singer's vocals and and that kind of it's almost like a ghost whisper kind of effect as it trails off with a lot of reverb and stuff and i've always enjoyed that so cool and i like to pick up in the tempo and the beat to emphasize her unique vocals And I just, I love the, uh, like, so where I paused right here, there's that douche, and it's just kind of like a dead stop moment almost, because they did it in Danny's version uh, side too, and I do like the the back and forth when it comes to the verse chorus kind of structure that I'm guessing they're going with, which is really, really cool as well. And then the way they kind of, Matt is incorporating like rap, but it's very, it's not a fully feature as it, you know, it's not, it's more of an eight as opposed to like a 16 or longer kind of, kind of verse, which I also like. So it, it's really cool that they're, they're introducing and putting in all the elements that make them them, but still have a unique with the feature as well. It's not an easy thing to do. It really is. I've heard some really shitty features from a lot of some bands that you're just like, eh, I really don't know about that. People want an example. Go go listen to the um, Outside by Stained, the original version that they played at Woodstock 99 with Fred Durst. Fred Durst kills that song for me. And I, I'm usually not one to rag on Fred Durst, but like in that particular song, just the feature doesn't sound right it's just from the what they're doing in it and stuff, but specifically Fred Durst. So I totally get that. Um, but this is incorporated really, really well. And I love Chrissy's like singing voice, it, it, the way they you know, present it here and kind of that haunting kind of effect. And it, it, it's fantastic. So let's get into the chorus and hoping they really show some range. No. So 
love love the chorus very catchy regardless of who's singing it be it or danny or chrissy either one works um and that, that is a kind of a thing like if you actually listen to the lyrics you know took a piece of me and now barely barely a lot of people will take a lot of pieces yeah you know, throughout your life and sometimes ones hurt more than others and make it really feel like we we are barely surviving and barely breathing out the end of it after that piece that they, they take from us regardless of what it is so you know especially once they sometimes when those people exit they take a really big part of you and they'll leave you almost barely able to function and it really does hurt sometimes So knowing how they have their songs, that's basically the end. Um, so the thing, I, uh, the harmonics, uh, as far as the duet and the overlays and the vocals, uh, fan, f- fan, fucking fantastic, complement each other very well. If I'm gonna do comparisons as far as the overall how the duet sounds. Uh, like how well they f- their voices fit together. The uh, and this is a hundred percent compliment. Go listen to the um, Aurora version of Dear Agony with Lacey Strom and Ben from Breaking Benjamin, and it is fan fucking tastic. Uh, another song that with like that kind of the vocalists fit really well would also be the uh, Break In by. Uh, with hailstorm with with lizzie hale and uh amy lee where the harmonics of the duet just fit perfectly uh if you you know a little more metal ish for some people would be in this moment the promise where the the dueling kind of dueling duets and dueling vocal ranges and you know male female dynamic of the the range fit really really well is in this moment the promise is uh, another song that would really kind of fit well so and then you know if people want like a papa roach kind of vibe because of the the rapping you, you got gravity which fits really well with maria brink um or you can listen to uh for max's new version with jen ledger which also shows a very good range so, it, it, like, I uh, this is why I say I've yet to hear these guys on a on a combo or a collab that doesn't sound good. Be it Danny singing or Matt or you know any of these guys. So, and any collaboration they have into the music that they do, or their own music, is always fits really really well. So, fantastic as always. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I, I've, I've loved listening to these guys all the time. I love seeing the, the evolution of what new metal can be. Um, I do find it kind of ironic that <laughs> the new metal sound is coming back as, as popular and it, it, in f- the same breath also means all, all the new metal style is coming back. I'm looking at you, Jinko jeans and everything else. So, uh, it's interesting to, to see the ebbs and flows of time sometimes, but fan fucking tastic. I love it. Uh, I've been a fan, still a fan. Um, I'm definitely going to be checking out more from, uh, 
against the current again i've only heard a very few songs about him but very very good uh, i love chrissy's vocals uh the few times that i have listened to it and it fits perfectly with this so the guys killed it chrissy killed it love it you guys know what to do let me know what some of your favorite bands are musically be it new metal or whatever style or genre that you are into and comment below you guys know what to do comment rate subscribe any gala patreon all that crap is in the description and i will catch you on the flip peace